He was in the middle of a killing spree, but the gunman who stormed into that Colorado Springs nightclub was met with brave people who were not afraid to fight back. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. The man who stopped the shooter is now talking about what happened that tragic night, and we are learning about his close ties to San Diego. Here's CBS 8's Brian White. 45-year-old Richard Fierro actually grew up in San Diego, attending Mira Mesa High School and SDSU. Now on Saturday, he was at Club Q with his wife, daughter, and her boyfriend, Raymond Green Vance, one of the five killed. During the chaos, he managed to confront the shooter and stop him, many calling him a hero for what he did. So I want you to hear how he reacted when those shots rang out firsthand in his own words. I, I went to the ground like everybody did. Um, and then I, when I rolled to get up, because I knew I had to do something, and I looked up, I went, hey, I got to stop this guy. So I ran across the room and I, and I pulled him down. I grabbed him by the back of his little cheap ass armor thing, and I pulled him down. I just kept wailing on him. And I told the kid in front of me, kick him in his head, keep kicking him in his head. One of the, the performers uh, walked by or was running by and I told her, kick this guy, kick this guy. And she took her high heel and stuffed it in his face. So I hit him with the, the gun, his gun. I grabbed it and I hit him with it. I kept hitting him with it. I, that cop walked in when he saw me, he must've thought I was crazy. I tried, I tried to have everybody in there. I still feel bad that there's five people <laughs> There's five people that didn't come home. And this guy, this guy, I told him while I was eating him, I said, I'm gonna kill you, man, because you tried to kill my friends. My family was in there. I told the mayor, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a hero. I'm just a guy that wanted to protect his kids and his wife. And I still didn't get to protect her boyfriend. This whole thing was a lot. My daughter and wife should have never experienced combat in Colorado Springs, and everybody in that building experienced combat that night, not to their own accord, but because they were forced to. A lot of people are calling you a hero. I, listen, I'm not a hero. There's real heroes out there, right? I, I hope that people that, that really want to be a hero go do that, all right? Achieve it. I hope my daughter is a hero. I'm not a hero. I'm just some dude from San Diego. We're just punk kids from San Diego trying to make it, man. I don't know what else to do. I, 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 I really hope people kind of use this and, and shake someone's hand, give someone a hug, give them a kiss. As you heard there, a very emotional firsthand account at moments, trying to hold back his tears. Now he refuses to let reporters call him a hero. In his words, he was just a guy trying to protect his family. We are grateful for him. Now, he may not think he's a hero, but to many, he is a hometown hero. Uh, Fiero was born and raised here in San Diego. Coming up tonight at 6, our Steve Price introduces us to Fiero's family, and his parents share their pride and their pain. That's tonight on CBS 8 News, live at 6.